Hi folks, little remote video. Um, this place is up for sale and it looks, looks interesting. I'm just trying to figure out what it used to be. So I'm going to take the camera with me, obviously. So you got, it looks like this building, this building, and from the wires strung in between them, I think the yellow building, um, I'm on a kind of a back road here. Anyway, this place is up for sale. Um, the building with the satellite right there does not seem to be part of it. It seems like all these outbuildings are though. Right, you can see the real estate sign there. And the building with the satellite on it has a big like no trespassing sign on it. But just for curiosity, I figured, there you go. I'm gonna take a quick look. I don't know if these were chicken coops or what the heck they were back in the day. I mean, I see like old chairs and mouse droppings. I don't know, could you guys see that? Somebody's probably gonna run out with a shotgun. Metal, metal roofing. So I don't think this gig is part of it. I'm not sure about what this is up back there. It's all locked up. Much storage building. I left a mini bike in the street. Seems to be full of crap. Yeah. Fire safety much, turpentine. I'm not quite sure what the story on this place was. Seems like um, no windows on this guy. Here's the lower building. I just, I'm looking at it. It looks like a natural place to store Hondas. Maybe get my Honda Museum going. This, this looks like um, a stall. Once again, I'm not sure how much you guys could see. Seems to be full of shit. Uh, excuse my language. Full of stuff. <sighs> For flea market types. Product. You know, like a lot of furniture in there. Like maybe at one time, this was like a quasi auction house. This is opened. Opened as in air could go through. Nice wiring job, eh? So yeah, this this looks like somebody made it out of falling down barns. Ooh. Old freezer. I guess there's not much of value here. Yeah, this looks like it was an old flea market type situation back in the day. I know some old guy's gonna jump out and I'm gonna get all... There you go. Yeah, you'll see something jump out. Me dance around like an old scared girl. <laughs> uh, now my fingerprints are on it. 
Yeah, this looks like um, it was some kind of, uh, kind of like some old guy like um, built these buildings to keep hmm, the mystery deepens to uh, oh, bees nest and it got me got me on the shoulder shoot but curiosity got the spooner I'm going in boys oh, they're swarming though nope Harvey ain't going in <laughs> they talked me out of it yeah these are like old mattresses old heaters and stuff of bees so I don't know I gotta talk to my son some more find out what they're after for it yeah see some old guy push his face up against the glass and I'll be screaming and jumping and all I don't know what did we explore is it abandoned I'm not quite sure what to call it so that's where the bike is and so looking at it you see it kind of goes up on the terrace there then you got this building and this building and once again you can see from the metal sheathing on them and the wood and the different windows and all it's almost like they built them a little at a time like this piece was first and then they kind of added that onto it I'm not sure how they did that but you could see the way this area is different than that area I hear a car coming then you got all that stuff up on the hill I'm out in South Central Pennsylvania so um, boy that bee did get me on the shoulder <sighs> gonna end up with a big oh man it got me so it appears as if there's two mailboxes here so I'm wondering if this mailbox goes over here and you see that wooden post right there so I'm wondering and this metal thing that's the property line but then what do you do cut that shack in the back in half I mean there's a there's a no trespassing and a note on the door it would really suck if I just if I got shot for trying to read this hmm claims it's a tax claim thing somebody owes 3600 bucks so I guess this is a tax situation maybe I don't know maybe it's all one one piece of property this looks new I don't know what to make of this whole situation they have a no trespassing right on the front of the house there so uh, where are we there you go so I'd rather not be seen right right here doesn't look like cars are in and out. This is where the driveway would be. Um, that station wagon's been there forever. Well, let's go up just a little more. The Evening Sun newspaper. Yeah, I'm not sure if all of this is for sale 
or if it's on a tax lien situation. I mean, if you kind of see, as I shine it up the hill here, that's cultivated land. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna ask my son to make an inquiry. We have a, um, a real estate broker that we used when we bought his house. And if this is going on godly cheap, you know, especially like with those outbuildings up here and all, um, it is possible that there might be uh, some farmers who have hay and tractors and other equipment that they're trying to put away for the winter. So if it were to sell cheap enough, that could allow, I like that the wiring is really, I don't know if you guys could kind of see it goes across and right to there. And then you got a piece hanging. I wonder if at one point the piece went from there out to that pole and then from that pole to the next barn. Anyway, what, um, because I'm just wondering if for some of the open rental stuff up there, if some uh, farmers were willing to take on some of that space and pay a little bit of rent, then I would rather, you know, put anything I was going to put into these things. I'd rather put them into, put it into um, an enclosed type situation. Though my stuff is a little more valuable. Got a little CSI here with tire tracks. Well, if anybody called the local sheriff or anything, probably take them about 15 minutes to get here, which means it's time for me to get gone. I am curious, what what is this made out of? To me, it looks like asphalt, shingles. They used to have this rolled asphalt stuff that they used to put on houses. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I mean, that's obviously wood, but this is this is those asphalt shingles like you would put on your roof, but you would actually not you would buy it in flat panels and put it on the side of houses. That was kind of popular, I think in the 40s. All right, folks. I want to thank you all for joining me. Thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing. I wish one of you would have warned me about the bees before I got stung on the shoulder here. That hurts. Um, I want you all to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.